Uh, tough game, Coach. I know you guys were close in the first half, but D had a little bit of tough time controlling the, the Washington State offense and award in the second half. Any breakdowns in particular you noticed? Um, the first half, I thought the D battled. The short field after the punt and penalty was difficult. We gave up a touchdown there. They made some good plays on their second touchdown drive, uh, some earned plays. We had uh, three or four chances to get some negatives on him, you know, the quarterback, and he, we were not able to get him on the ground. I mean, one as early as the first drive and then uh, multiple chances later to try and get him in some, extra, you know, third and extra longs or second extra long or third and extra long, and we weren't able to do that. Um, but even until the fourth quarter, I mean, we, we got some stops. It was 14-9, I believe, there, and uh, we had a third and four on defense. We had just scored. We had third and four. They ran a tunnel screen. We didn't quite make the play in the very next play. Is, I think it's the very next play they threw a fade for a touchdown, and we were not able to recover from that. So I thought we battled. And then the last touchdown drive was really poor tackling. It looked like uh, just a uh, number of missed tackles. So, um, you know, the quarterback's a very good player. Uh, I thought we battled. And, again, until that – when the game was 14-9 and the third and fourth tunnel and then the next you know, ensuing plays with the, the touchdown in the end zone, the fade was – that was the – the, uh, kind of the turn of the momentum there. You guys knew coming in that WSU puts a lot of pressure on the quarterback. They, you guys struggled with them last year. The first half held up pretty well on the offensive line. The second half, it was uh, pretty rough. Jack was getting pounded a decent amount. Anything to do, anything you can do to mitigate yeah, we got to block better. Yeah. we got to stay ahead of the chains. you got to run the ball better. I don't know what the finals were, but you run it 20-plus times for 30-some yards. And try and give, don't give yourself a chance when you do that. So, um, yeah, run the ball better, block better. So we, you know, it's, it's everything. I mean, we had a one TD drive, uh, two big plays in the past game by Jeremiah, Jack and Jeremiah. Um, but overall, I mean, we got we got to score more than that. Everybody knows that. Get the questions from the room first. Okay. Uh, we will open it up to those on Zoom. Again, please speak up. We'll start with Jeff Ferrado. Go ahead, Jeff. Justin, um, how is Jack Plummer? It looked like he was beat up pretty good and limped off, and then you pulled him off with about three minutes to go. Uh, no reports yet. I haven't even talked to the trainers. Did it appear that he injured his right knee? I don't have anything to report yet, Jeff. We'll uh, have some more information for you early in the week. Okay, we'll move to Steve Croner, and we'll get back. If you have other questions, please let me know in the chat. Go ahead, Steve. Yeah, Justin, the revamped, revamped offensive line looked so good a week ago against Arizona. Why was it not nearly as good today? It was one reason. It'd be pretty simple to answer, but uh, you know, well, we didn't get anything going in the running game to speak of. We had a couple. Decent runs, and then the pass protection wasn't uh, where it needed to be. Um, you know, never, we're all going to share in that, players and coaches alike. So, uh, yeah, you, you wouldn't think you would uh, run the ball that effectively last week and then come in and do this today. I don't, you know, none of us would expect that. Not that we expected to run for 350 yards every week, but we expected to be better than that. Okay, any other questions from within the room, or if you have one on Zoom, we'll give you a couple seconds here. Okay, go to Jeff Ferrato. Go ahead, Jeff. Justin, you have a bye now. Um, how important will it be to be able to sort of physically and emotionally regroup at this point? Because you're off to a three to one start. I'm sure this is a tough one to swallow. Yeah, I mean we. It's I mean it's got check time for everybody. A lot of football to play. You know can't put our head down and kick rocks, you know, we need to look in the mirror, every coach, player, everybody in the program has got to get better, you know, and so that's the expectation when we get back to meetings on Monday, and we're not going to be sitting there singing kumbaya and hey, it's okay, it's not okay, we got to play better, we got to coach better, everybody's got to improve, so that's the expectation for everybody coming to the meeting on Monday. Okay, anybody else with a final question? Thank you.